I'm Checo Varese, ASC cinematographer, and I just shot Daisy Jones and the Six. Do you think it's time to add a little fire? Don't overthink it. I'm the fire. Daisy Jones is a 10 episode miniseries based on a book. And it's the story of a band. All of a sudden, at the peak of their fame, when they're doing all these fantastic rock and roll concerts, and hundreds of thousands of people are going to the concerts, poof, they disappear. And we don't know anything. We don't know what happened to them. Basically, it's a human story about characters that are lonely, and they try to look for each other. I used to be the first person that you'd play things for. It's what people want to see. It's an act. You know that. There was the desire of making it a period piece because it happens in the 70s. Throughout 10 years of history, and we were shooting, mind you, five episodes together, so we had to test eight different makeups on five different people in 15 different wardrobes on five different people. So we had six days of test. We tested 17 different lens manufacturers. From the beginning, I knew I was shooting with the Sony Venice. I'm agnostic on cameras. That's the reason I don't own cameras. You know, I'm agnostic. This show, I'll do it with this one. The next show, I may try another one. In this particular case, the Sony Venice was the perfect and still is the perfect camera. We chose the Sony Venice one. At that point, the two wasn't out yet because of her flexibility in low light, but also because the rendering of the color was very appropriate for the 70s and 80s and 90s. It's a platform that delivers an extraordinary amount of information if you need to. And it's a platform that actually allows you, in a blink of an eye, of changing a filter, internal filters. So I, I think it's, it's a wonderful tool to tell a story. I don't even know why we're doing this. It's not a duet. Billy, you wrote a good song, not a great one. Did you guys want to record something or fight more? I'm fine either way. We in Daisy Jones use the large format, which is the equivalent roughly of a 65 millimeter film plane. And now all the manufacturers of lenses are catching up and doing that. What that gives you is a very large sensor, very large film plane, where your focus the fall off of the focus, it's brilliant. So you can have somebody in focus in the foreground, even with a 28 millimeter lens that is actually more like a 20, you know, and I put it right here. So you wouldn't be able to use those lenses in Super 35 because they will distort a lot, but in the large format because you're using the center of the lens. So I think the lenses are poetry. And the lenses are the commas, the question marks, the accents in Spanish. You write with the film, but the lenses are the commas and the dots that allow you to breathe. So when you're making an album, it's an intimate thing. And then we used another camera, the Sony FX3. Little efficient and beautiful cousin, but smaller. And we used that also a lot to basically tell a very intimate moments. You know, we, we, we used it in a very odd way. Uh, it wasn't like the second camera or the third camera. It was the camera that we had one event. I wanted to do a shot in a, imagine a van, like a Volkswagen Combi or something. Starting in a close up of one of the characters and pulling back to see the whole band going like this through the back windshield and then VFX will recreate the windshield and they drive away. But I came up with that idea that morning. So I couldn't have like the specialty camera and the special. So we put the FX3 at the end of a pipe, literally pointing to the right a little bit with the Sony Zeiss lenses with the E-mount. And that camera has a way to 
face recognition, so it keeps the focus on whatever face or whatever element you touch at the beginning. I asked the, the actress, please do me a favor, stay looking back so you see the camera until we get back here. So we did the shot, and when we got back here, she turned around and softly the focus rolled to the back of the van and the back drove away with a piece of pipe and a dolly. And that was fascinating, and it was a creative use, and it comes from my documentary days. I mean, I would have loved to have a van, cut it in pieces, you know, put a Libra head on top. I don't have the time, so I did it the way I would have done it in the 80s in the Amazon jungle. Having worked with, in the 80s, with a Sony Beta Cam as a news cameraman, and then a Digi Beta, currently shooting a show, we're using the Venice 2. And I did a test, like I do everywhere. And I tortured that poor camera to levels of no light. And Sony Venice 2, it's an amazing camera. The one thing with Sony is you talk to them and you tell them, I need this because I don't think it's working. And if more than one person says it, the next incarnation is different. And we had conversations about that. I don't know what the Sony Venice 3 would be, but for now, I'm super happy with it too. There is a scene when the whole band goes to celebrate a birthday in a little house in the hills of what is supposed to be Laurel Canyon in California. During the actual celebration, the electricity goes out and everybody sings a song in, as an homage to a very famous singer, which is a, an, an historical event. It happened and the whole canyon was singing a song during a blackout. We had to rig this little house with our lights so that a queue will shut them off. And then they start lighting candles. And that's a very challenging thing because we wanted to do it in a wonder. So we rehearsed it a couple of times. So then you have to expose to your lit room. Those lights go off. The exposure has to make sense. So the moonlight, quote unquote, that comes to the windows have to be visible. And now you have to turn on candles and tell the actors not to burn themselves, but put the candles closer to where they would be and now have three or four electricians with white gloves and flashlights bouncing a little bit of light or a, a, a white piece of cloth. The ballet and the dance was exceptional, but man was difficult. <laughs>